there it is. What do we have here? Oh boy. This is heavy. Come on, a jewelry box or something. Oh, okay, we hang now. Hey now. Alright, what is up, Locker Nuts? See that uh, familiar green storage doors over there? That means that we are at Extra Space Storage today for some live auctions. Hayward, California, and then on to Castro Valley after this, and a few more cities after that. We'll see how far I go. I'm just looking up to, I'm looking to pick up one or two today because I'm down to uh, bare bones inventory and I need some more videos to put out this week. So hopefully we're going to get lucky today. It's just going to depend on how many people come and how good the stuff looks. All right, guys, this is crazy. There's only two units there. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but there was supposed to be eight. Last time I was at that facility, there was 24. This time everyone paid up. There's only two, but it didn't stop me from getting one. I got one for $325. I think it's a 10 by 10 and it looks pretty interesting army bag trunk some some definite potential in this one i'm excited but for now we're gonna go grab some lunch and get over to the next one all right what is up locker nuts okay so yesterday was the auctions i told you i bought one in the morning what i didn't tell you is i bought another one in, in a little bit later just a couple auctions later 250 bucks here it is right here 250 bucks we're about to take a look at it but first i want to show you one other thing kind of excited about this a little bit of a game changer what's that right there that is a gopro hero 8 got it for christmas janice said what do you want i said i want a new gopro my old one was so frustrating i stopped using it a long time ago i think it's time to give gopro another chance let's see what this can do we're going to do a little hands-free unboxing and uh no tripod no tripod well, it's in the car, but let's see if we can get away without it and uh, see how it goes. All right, let's get started. There we go. All right, there it is. There it is, you guys. What do you think? So, hmm. <laughs> what do we got in here, you guys? We got some interesting stuff. 250 bucks I'm, I'm i think that may have been too much but all the units pretty much were going for a lot of money so i like this we saw a laptop right there these boxes look interesting to me i don't know why um same with that a little bin barbecue doesn't say anything baby bike or kids bike right here that's not saying much uh the barbecues i mean this barbecue it looks dirty there's the box and then you got this weightlifting stuff here. That is a beast. All right. Body vision, it says right there. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for the boxes and the laptop. And I think there is a snowboard back here, too. There it is. All right. A couple pieces of luggage. Well, let's start digging and see what we got, okay? Let's see if this trusty GoPro... Makes makes life easier. Let's see. Also, I'm gonna try not to bump it because thing things like 400 bucks. Hollywood. These feel kind of empty. 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 Penny. All right, let's take that. Get like 25,000 more of those. We'll be almost back to zero. Ooh, someone from Texas. Let's see. Adult buffet. Lots of adult buffets here. Four of them. Well, someone has been eating in Texas. Somebody took a trip to Texas and been eating but a buffet. Hmm. All right. As I thought, this is empty. And this is how we do it. This is kind of heavy. And you know what that means? Yeah, paperwork files. That's why it's so heavy. Hmm. 
What's this? Oh, that's too bad. It looks almost like a laptop bag, but it's not. 16 gigabyte flash drive. That's a decent size. What's this? Is this a journal? Is this one's a diary? It is a journal, but it is not someone's diary because no one ever wrote in it. Okay. Do not get between a woman and her chocolate. That's funny. Okay, someone liked their chocolate. A lot of pens. Basically, the nicer lockers we've been getting come along with nicer pens. So maybe we can profile this locker based on the quality of the pens that we pull out. I mean, at least these pens look clean. Okay, looks like here we got some taxes. What else we got in here? What is that? Hmm. It's a little tape measure. Yeah, a lot of pins. No big tickets here. Hmm, okay. Okay, the computer. Dang it, they wrote all over it. That's a bad start. It's a Dell. Hmm. It's a little sticky too. On top of this, a little sticky. Mm. Missing. Alright, that sucks. That'll go to the flea market. We'll still get up some money. We've got people who buy those. Alright, let's see here. What do we have here? Oh boy, more African stuff. We just got some African stuff out of the pallets recently. And I gotta tell you, that stuff didn't sell. I thought it would. Alright, here's more Ghirardelli. So, I'm thinking someone worked for Ghirardelli. This is like a blanket, almost like a sleeping bag. Maybe they traveled for the company. This pottery toolkit. Hmm, that's neat. Cooler backpack. Okay. Ghana collection. 20 bucks at Pier 1. Probably the same. It's decent stuff. Oh, that's cool. It's a ceramic piece. Or something. Not ceramic. Well, yeah, I guess it is ceramic. That's interesting. That's cool. Hmm? That's neat, isn't it? 40 bucks on that one. Shoot. I need to spend some money. Alright, what do we got here? Hmm, okay. It's all personal paperwork stuff. A briefcase type file, file organizer. This one's got nothing good in it. Seriously doubt it. There's a wallet. So there's Raiders on it. See that? <laughs> Let's see. I see the high school diploma in there, so that means he's keeping the stuff that's important to him. What could this be? Okay, nothing really. Just a, like a postcard, card or something. Hmm. These are actually pretty nice. Well, it looks like they just started this one because there's not very much in it. And that's good because I'm going to take it and sell it. These briefcases are pretty nice. It's a nice briefcase. Pendaflex. It's probably 20 bucks. All right, let's see what's in here. Nothing really. Wait, what's this? Unemployment, an unemployment receipt. Thumbnail idea. All right, uh, 
So far, not so good, right? <laughs> so far, not so good. 250 bucks, what was I thinking? I don't know, I was thinking I'm low on inventory, I'm low on videos, and quite frankly, and I need stuff to sell and I need stuff to put on my YouTube channel. So uh, this was a small one, it looked kind of clean. There weren't really very many that day, yesterday. I don't know, snowboard, laptop, uh, so far mostly paperwork, but we're gonna keep digging. Let's let this GoPro work for its money. All right, getting these things out here. I'm digging a little easier. Oh, that's cool. No Casio 7.2 megapixel, not bad. What's this? Oh, that's this is a little better. This is a uh, Olympus uh, audio recorder. This one I'm gonna have to look up. These sometimes can be worth a little bit of money. That might be an eBay item. Hmm. Little phone. Huh. Oh, it's a flip camera. Okay, got a candle. And a flip. Hmm, <laughs> Ghirardelli chocolate must be like a, something to give their employees or a souvenir thing. But, oh, that's nice. This must be a later model because this is nice. They aren't terribly valuable because they do just stop working after a while. Maybe this one's a little better. We'll have to look it up. Alright, got these out. A couple prints. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, this is heavy. Oh, it's a vase. Vase. What, what, what vase? How low can you go? Ugh. All right, there's the top to the barbecue, and here's another piece for the weightlifting machine. Okay. That's the top. This is heavy. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's decent, actually. That, those will sell. Those will sell. This thing here is kind of nice. Princess and the Frog. Disney Princess. Somebody, looks like somebody airbrushed it. Very cool. That'll sell, too. All right, I got the barbecue out, and I got all the this stuff out. I got the see that uh, barbell right there. Should be an easy load, but we'll have to be a little bit careful about how to pack it, just to make sure I get all the big items in first. Make sure it all fits. All right, so what else do we got here? Hmm, not a lot more. Hmm. Okay, this guy. Ooh, that's heavy. That's gonna be fun getting that on the back of the truck. Okay, so how about we look in this Kamal jewelry box or something? Hmm. Dang it. These are nice containers. But these are just like electrical connectors for I think for for coax cable. Nothing there. Seems like something medical. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! 
These are business books. Hmm. That's junk. Custom frames, huh? This is uh, labels and such. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Somebody needs it because this stuff is expensive. I know because I bought a fair amount for my business previous to this career. Adds up. Some of you guys might be wondering why I don't keep those from my eBay store. I have a thermal printer, a, Dy a Dymo 4XL, I think it's called. And that thing is uh, very, very easy to use, very fast, very convenient. So I don't monkey around with laser printer labels anymore. A couple more cooler bags, whatever they sold, and this is all Ghirardelli stuff. Whatever they sold, they probably didn't want it to melt. Hmm, what did they sell? What do you think they sold? Hmm, well, maybe that'll just remain a mystery. Okay, oh, oh good lord, this locker, this is a $50 locker I just paid for. I paid $200 for a $50 locker, how do you like that? Still holding on to hope. Oh man, these things, I hate these things. I don't like these things. They don't sell. They really don't sell. <laughs> That's when they're clean, they don't sell. When they're dirty, this one's dirty. Yikes. Worst present in the world. Don't buy this for mom on Mother's Day. She won't use it, trust me. I don't know what that is back there. It almost looks like a shell. That's what it is. That's a freaking hollow point bullet here. A 45. Can you imagine that thing hitting you in the chest? My goodness. Yeah, that's an ouchie. All right, what we got here? Mm-hmm. All right, it's taped up, but every box so far has been taped up. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second now. It's got a label, though. Huh. All right, let's see. Oh, this is brand new. Okay. That's decent. Those are new. That's good. This is really good. This is a brand new printer. This that could be a few bucks. Some printers still getting you a decent price if they're new. Other ones not so much. We'll see. I'll list it locally. Let's see what we can get. Hmm. See that? Looks pretty good. It doesn't even look used. It says Roxy. Right there, Roxy. Now let's look at the bottom. That's the real test. Oh my goodness, this thing is maybe used once. And there's a little bit of scratches on the bottom. Barely any. That's pretty nice. I don't know, how much is that? I don't know. I really can't remember the last time I got a snowboard. It was, it's was been a while. Um, 50, 75 bucks maybe right now. That's decent. All right, computer box, what you got for us? Let's have something today, because so far, We've been disappointed. All right. Let's see. Expires in eight, uh, four of 18, so that's, that was only expired eight or nine months ago. That's decent. Oh, okay, wait, hang now. Hang now. This is a little better. <laughs> when they got all their buttons, there's a step up from the other one. This is a little better. Quad core, it says. Quad core. That's good. Okay, there's a, Power cord, generic brand, but hopefully it's for the computer. Nice computer bag, but just uh, yeah, ten buck tune. I was about to say I, I recognize that logo. We just found some really nice ten buck two bags in the first round of pallets we bought. Okay, here's another computer bag. Let's hope. We get another decent computer, we might be okay on this one. Oh, what's this? Is this a computer? Okay, wait, no. That's a computer. What is this? Huh. Wacom. Oh! This is a drawing tablet. You take the pen and you go on here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
This I think is an older IBM. Lenovo. It's missing the battery. And we've got a guy that still might buy that for parts. A couple more chargers here. The battery charger. Oh, that's for the for that. That is for the little camera I found earlier. This is a nice bag. This Timbuk2 makes really nice bags. I feel the quality. You know, we probably should look this up too. This book right here. That could be something for Amazon. Alright, well that was that was spot on. Computer, it said, and it was computer. Hair. That's definitely less interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when I said hair, I was thinking hairbrushes, scrunchies. Yeah, I wasn't thinking like real hair. I probably should have been. Here's the Brazilian soft and volume braid. What? What? Gonna twist. Oh man, this is funny. So funny. This is, hey, they're brand new in the package. I wonder if I can sell these on Amazon. Lady drawstrings, 12 bucks. It's heck of funny. I think it's funny. It's hair, people. Oh my goodness, look at all this hair. Dude. Why do you need so much hair? Do they sell hair? How much did they sell it for? Dude, that's what I was thinking right here. Oh, this is a heavy brush. Dang. Kid, look at this brush. These are, this is all metal. There, this must be like a special type of brush right here. These are not flexible. Huh. We're seriously down to the end of it here. Oh boy. Okay. That is a letdown. Okay, what's in here? Oh, that's cool. It's a nice barbecue set. Brand new. Very, very nice. And some golf clubs. Nothing special though. Tailor made burner golden bear golden bears a little bit low end it's like a nice starter set all right well Christmas creamer crock pot and three jars what do you think is this the big money box right here <laughs> I don't think so what is this ISI Austria Thermo Express Whip. What? What is this? Press. What? Where does that turn? Okay, we'll have to look that up. That might be worth it to you. What's this? Oh, that's a nice wine bag. I don't care, jelly. It's leather. Handmade in Colombia. Ghirardelli. Another like blanket or mat of some sort. We got here a bunch of paper. Some blue paper. What's this? Bags and bags. San Francisco. That's nice. That's actually a really nice little tote bag right here. Umbrella. Decent. Set of three jars, that's it, really. That was the big finale. Found that 45, got a little excited for a second there. They're brand new. Or in the original packaging, anyways. Yep, there's the Christmas stuff, as they promised. Stockings and a few lights. Nothing too exciting. All right, so no terrific, amazing finds in the locker, but we're looking at getting our money back probably pretty easy and maybe a little better. I'll make a little bit on this one, but yeah, I'd, I'd take a do-over on it if I could. The snowboard is what interested me as well as the laptop. <laughs> that laptop was a bust 
but luckily there's another one in there that was pretty decent. The, but the snowboard actually is pretty good. Looked it up and these bindings are, they're good bindings. So I listed this last night on Facebook Marketplace, 125, I've already got somebody who says she's very interested. And uh, now I just gotta get back to her and make sure that her boots, that these are the right bindings for her boots. Looks like we got a sale. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, cause I did. It's still fun going through lockers and uh, seeing what we find that adventure. I just can't get enough of it. Well, you know what, actually right after this, I'm gonna go get a little bit more of it because we have that other locker we bought. And this one's got potential, like no joke, this one's got some potential to make money, to find some treasure. We're gonna have to see, you'll see soon enough because I'm gonna put it on the next video. I'm gonna go over later today and start digging through that one. Uh, I won't get through it all though because it's a, it's a big one, it's got some big items and we've got rain coming. So uh, we're gonna have to navigate around that, but we're gonna take a peek see and you'll see it very soon. Also, we were playing around with that Hero 8 so far. I'm very happy with it. The chest mount works well, the camera looks well, but not so much in low light so inside the locker towards the end there when i was going through boxes inside camera wasn't performing as well as i'd like it to so i'm gonna have to be careful on that in future videos to get bring boxes out in the hallway so we have more light coming in then the camera's gonna shine in the low light i have to say the iphone 11 does much better but the gopro is going to be it's going to be used a lot in the future here just because it's so convenient having it right here so you guys can see my perspective and uh, we're gonna have fun with it. So stay tuned for more videos with that GoPro and uh, we'll see what it can do. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Hit me a thumbs up if you like this sort of thing, like seeing us going on these adventures. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we put out future videos as well as our live shows and premieres. If uh, you're not getting notifications, unclick that bell icon and re-click it again that should do the trick. It's a known bug in YouTube and that will be the fix. All right. Thanks you guys for watching. Another video will be out soon, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts. All right. So we got some new batteries in this. Let's see what is on here. Gas heating professional service. During the professional service call, the heating technician should test and inspect the gas heating system for safety and efficiency of combustion by the following actions. <clears throat> All right, well, it looks like he used it for studying a trade, and uh, yeah, not that interesting, but still, this is probably worth about 15 bucks.